Hello Rockets, I'm George Cano. And I'm Mark Gonzalez. And this is your news for December 10, 2013. In local news, the temperatures dropped all around the Lone Star State. For more on this, we have J-Rocket TV's Benjamin Zello live outside the school. What's it like out there, Benji? It's cold. Very, very cold. Ugh. Thanks, Benji. An enormous, brutal mass of Arctic air shoved south over most of the U.S., threatening 32 million people with snow, ice, and wind, and an extraordinary drop in temperature. Students, faculty, and staff of the Dallas Independent School District had a four-day weekend as severe weather conditions, power outages, and icy roads prompted the school closings. But things should warm up by the week's end, and classes resume today in the Dallas ISD. Recently, in San Francisco, they did an amazing thing. They rallied together to make a dream come true for a make-a-wish child by letting him be Batman for the day. Five-year-old Miles Scott, a leukemia survivor, thwarted some villains and received a key to the city. His little brother was even dressed up as Robin. Let us all just be grateful a whole city could come together to make a, dream, a child's dream come true. Last Friday, the Rocket Varsity football team squared off against the Madison Mavericks. For more on the story, we have J Rocket TV's Davion Hood and Ashley Brown. Fighting until the bitter end against the Madison Mavericks, the Judson Rockets showed immense resiliency as well as determination as they fell less than one yard short of continuing their hopes to go on to the state championship. The highly anticipated quarterfinal playoff game started off with a bang as quarterback Ray John Austin Ramsey found the end zone on a seven-yard zone option read. Running back Javon Kyle went on a 73-yard foot race, allowing quarterback Austin Ramsey to yet again walk into the end zone. <laughs> Due to an injury, all-purpose player Andre Wilson took over at quarterback, playing his heart out, going on wild scrambles and completing this 10-yard pass to wide receiver Michael Akai, setting up the Rockets for one last shot at a game-winning field goal, but fell a half-yard short. We would like to congratulate our seniors as they played a tough and hard-fought game to finish their high school career. That's about all the time we had here for today. I'm George Cano. And I'm Mark Gonzalez. And this has been J-Rocket TV. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, J-Rocket TV, and keep a lookout for exclusive web content like our upcoming podcast. Yeah. Hey. Is Benji still outside? I think so. We're done. How's the weather out here? Uh, pretty cold. It's cold. <laughs>